And I'm talking about Tim Cook because he's the boss of the company. And now it just seems like it's just trying to suck money out of everything. This is a reenactment of how I lost a month's worth of data, uh, everything I've shot for a month, all my blog, everything, and how obviously it's my fault. But had Apple made their disk utility program work correctly, they haven't fixed it in four operating systems or something like this. Okay, so I had just bought a drive to back up everything. So two drives already. One drives at the editors and the other drive was with me. So everything that I had shot in the last month hadn't been backed up. Everything before that was with the editors. So I was about ready to back it up because it was getting a little scary because uh, I had an incident that I lucked out where the drive was on the floor after a move. It slid off the table but still was plugged in and still was working. And I was like, ah, it's not even backed up, right? Okay. So I go buy a drive and I come and I sit down. At the same time, I'm on the phone trying to figure out with the bank what's going on with this DJI order. Yes, I was multitasking. Sure, I'm a horrible person. It's all my fault. Okay. But the bottom line remains is that I can't even call DJI and and say, hey, what's up with my order? They don't have that capability. So they'll take all the money in the world. I mean, geez, Louise, you could spend some serious money on their site, but you cannot call and say, hi, why is my order canceled? What happened? No, they don't have that opportunity. Twitter, email, and even just to be able to get to a, a get a freaking email address that you can email, you have to go through all this BS, freaking, oh, is this your problem? Is that your problem? Is this your problem? It's like, no, man. You canceled my order, but you still have my money out of my account, and I want to know why. Because I don't want to cancel the order. I want you to have my money, but I want my toys. I need them. You're ruining, DJI, do you realize you're ruining the shot right now? I need that stuff. It should be here this week, but no. The money's out of my account and no order processing. Seriously? I can't even buy it because you have all the money. So, I'm trying to deal with that problem. On the phone, got my little head plug, ear plugs in. I'm on hold for Bank of the West, waiting to talk to somebody. So in that time, this is what I do. I open up this box. This is yet another one because now the other drive is off to $300 recovery and the best case scenario is they're just going to give me a giant pile of unlabeled video files. Like, so it's not even sure that what I'll get will even be usable for 400 bucks. It's a $300 drive repair, but because these are four terabyte drives, it doesn't really work. It increases the cost. Hey, look at this. I'm an unboxing freaking show all of a sudden. Hmm. Disk utility, okay. So here's what happened. I load this up. <clears throat> I'm on the phone. And, and what Disk Utility should do is it should just work correctly, right? So I went up here and I hit my book. I went to race. I put in the new. So anyway, I'm just going to label this three with the last time it was labeled two. So that's the only difference, right? I switch this over to this, okay, and I hit, 
get a raise. Oh, error. The process has failed. Click done to continue. Okay, I'm on the phone. I know this happens. So I'm just like, it's just gonna automatically line me up. Well, I went over to here and I clicked that and then I hit erase again and it wouldn't let me do it. So it went like that and then I went erase. Okay. And it failed again. Done. So I came over here and I did a race and I think it stayed on X fat and I hit a race again and it worked. Then I forgot that it had changed the name to Untitled and I just was like I need to fix that one into so at this point this is where I made the mistake right I clicked on this one thinking this was the one that was the one that I actually was working on but it actually said one right but because I just was on the phone distracted and I wasn't really paying attention, I was just trying to get through the process, I ended up on my drive full and I clicked erase. I formatted my drive full of content. Why did I do that? Well, let me just say, back in the day before El Capitan, like before jobs died, disk utility just worked correctly. You just went in and it didn't matter that it was already X fat or whatever. It just formatted it on the first try. There was no BS, right? And if there was no BS now, I wouldn't have lost all my data. And that's the bottom line is Apple in their, oh, we're so rich, they can't even make a disk utility program that works correctly. I don't understand why the program can't work like it's just supposed to. Okay, now this isn't just a buying a new drive. I have a whole production office with 40 or so drives, right? And some of those get formatted like the RAW, the MOV, and the one other drive. I'm not an editor. I set everything up years ago. So the editors have to go in and format the drives every once in a while to erase them. Uh, and that same error happens to drives that have been in the computer for years. You have to do it twice. Now one editor was just having a nightmare with it. He didn't realize that he could just click through it again and have it work. So I don't know. He was like restarting the computer. I mean, just meanwhile, Mr. Trillion Dollar Company doesn't seem to be able to fix their disk utility program. I mean, even in El Capitan, they got rid of RAID. I mean, like, I mean, they put it back in the next operating system, but it's just like, I, I, I don't know what the verbiage would be for a company that's so rich that isn't even taking care of the basics. Like, this is what we all loved about Apple. We love that we could just didn't have to go to third parties to use a computer. I mean, you could just sit down and get almost everything done with what came with your computer when you bought it. You didn't have to search the web for, you know, the best program to, to, to format drives. You know, I think even Windows has a formatting program now that doesn't error out after, you know. So, this is just more disgust that I have with Apple. A lot of the disgust I have with Apple is, they, is, is, the, is not supporting the old products, is slowing down the phones when the new ones come out. I mean, just all this little petty, childish, greedy, disgusting business habits. I, I, it's just, 
it's just disappointing on so many levels on so often pushing updates so fast that they don't even do something appropriately that shuts the computer down right and it killed my raid set my business back 10 days I mean I could just go on and on and on and on and on about problems I have with Apple that I just really shouldn't like Apple was so wonderful and then Jobs died and then this like person that has no other goals in life than as just like this and I'm talking about Tim Cook because he's the boss of the company and now it just seems like it's just trying to suck money out of everything and great job Tim Cook you got a trillion dollar company but you know what I hate Apple I hate it now I have to use it because I'm so tied into it I have so much money invested in third-party apps to run on Mac products that I would be broke to change over so I'm stuck with you fix your disk utility seriously you made me delete all my data because I was around with something I shouldn't have been around with it should have been a two-second thing click 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 done deal nothing no lost data but no somebody's just sitting on their hands at Apple not doing their job why doesn't this work right pulling my hair out of my freaking skull boy that app that $300 hard drive repair say I guess I was looking at um, some sample folder or some sh so I called them and I was just like why did you send me this app and tell me that I got nothing and uh, they're like oh no we found your stuff the lady on the phone was so nice she was ridiculously nice super nice lady at $300 so apparently they found my data and uh, they're shipping it to my storage or my um, my P.O. Box. So, we will see.